<sighs> I'm in love. Better than a romance novel. They're okay. I'd rather go shopping. <sighs> the question is, which one would you choose? Brandon Barnes. I love him. He's such a doll. He's just totally genuine. I mean, always smiling, super friendly. Just seeing him at school makes you feel good. He's a total charmer. Derek Nelson is such an incredible athlete, and he's got scholarship offers everywhere. He's big time gorgeous in a completely natural way. He's really funny too. Oh, every time I talk with him, I just roll in the aisles. Brett Halsey. I see those country eyes, and I just wish I lived in Nebraska and my name were Anna Sue. Great eyes, and he's shy and sweet without being syrupy. Excuse me, I need help finding a CD. That new band, Poet? It's for my brother. Oh, um, I, I don't actually work here, but I suddenly wish that I did. Maybe I could help you find it anyway. Let's see. We've got Black Crows. We've got Counting Crows. We've got Cheryl Crow. What's up with all these crows? What's next? Like, you know, eating crows? <laughs> uh, hey, don't we have English together? Yeah, you've got that class totally wired. You're doing pretty well yourself. English is cool. I really like Miss Hemingway. You know, I saw your play last week. Usually, Shakespeare just puts me right to sleep, but... Not you. You were incredible. Well, there it is. The new band poet. So, I'll see you in class Monday. Save me a seat. Bye. You gotta lend me your history book. My mom sold mine today at the book sale. Please? I need it Monday. Thanks. Oh, Carly, please tell me you brought the history book. I have to read the entire chapter before next period. I put it in your locker this morning before the first bell. <laughs> You're a goddess. I gotta run, but I want to know all the details later about you and Derek. Bye. Hi, Derek. Hey, Carly. You ready for the test? studied all weekend. Me too. I, I, I kept meaning to call you this weekend, but with my arm and the game and all... Well, anyway, I wanted, was wondering if... I presume you all had time this weekend to finish your assignments? I gather you liked it then. Mm -hmm. You know, a good math problem is like taking a 5 a.m. run in the rain. Totally invigorating. Let's just help you get as much mileage out of this assignment. You may begin. Carly, before you leave, I'm having a party this Friday. I'd like you to come. Hi, sweetie. It's Grandma Jenny. Can you perform one of your routines at the Hospital Talent Show this Friday? We really need contestants. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Kimmy. I know you're busy, but can you help us out Friday? Oh, sure, Grandma. It'll be fun. Oh, I knew you'd save the day. Oh, it should be over by 8.30. Love you. Bye. I hope you like this kind of stuff. Country music, two-step and all. Man, did I need to get out of the house after that little stump my brother pulled last night. Man, I'm just glad he's okay, you know? Yeah, with well, this moment, he's scraping peanut butter out of his baseball glove. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me never to get on her bad side. Hey, listen, I'm gonna go get some coats, but I'll be right back. Why don't you come with me for a minute, Kim? I got somebody I want you to meet. Hey, Kim? Well, this here's Jezebel. I figured the two girls in my life ought to get acquainted. 
Oh, Brett, she's beautiful. <laughs> Ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted a horse. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, then. There's a moon out tonight. Why don't we just go for a little ride? <sighs> Got anything to burn up after yesterday, Toots? <laughs> We're going for a run. Wish I could, but I gotta work. Work? Forget work. No one's gonna be in the mall today. It's too gorgeous out. All right, and I suppose you'll support her when she gets fired. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. I could use a new pair of Sam and Libby's. <gasps> oh, I love that store. <laughs> see ya. See ya. <laughs> These guys are definitely very cool. You'll always have a great time with them. Particularly when you run up against the likes of Howie Hooper and Wenda Wanky, two of the many zany and lovable characters that populate the halls of Madison High. And you'll want to pay attention in class because you might notice something very fishy about your teachers. Well, whatever happens, you'll always be right in the thick of it. <laughs>